In today's video, I will teach you everything you need to know about drop maps. First of all, you need to open fortunate.gg and choose a drop spot. For this video, I will choose exactly 3 spots because I can and it will show you how fast that actually is. First is going to be anvil, I am aiming for the gun that spawns at the top of the tower. Second is going to be the god chest at the castle of the deal split. And third is going to be the top of the god house at north slappy. But you might be asking yourself, why would they want a drop map in the first place? Well, especially in this meta, there is not a lot of loot, and the probability that you will be contested are therefore higher. Always having best drop will increase your chances of winning a 50-50 if you're contested. Plus, everyone is starting to use drop maps, and if you don't, you're going to lose. So, first of all, let's look at some terrain. We have water in all three cases, that is good, because water essentially means that there is no elevation change. Basically, if we find a perfect drop that is above water, we can use the circle tool, draw a circle that starts from the drop that we want, and drag it out to our perfect drop. Now everything that has the same elevation is a perfect drop, in our case everything that is above water because water doesn't have an elevation change. This is trickier with everything else because everything else might be at a slight difference of elevation. Whilst trying to find new markers, I will try to find the memorable spots so that I can replicate my drops easier. So right now we're aiming, I don't know, like in between these things here could be a, a decent drop. To an extent it could be even better than the water one, if it's a true spot. It's pretty memorable, it's in between the houses and the thing. No, I'm too short, I'm too low for this, I'm going to be more or less on the point. Market could be pretty accurate. Yep, see, we're aiming for that and we all drop everyone. I won't probably, probably want to have something on this road. So for now, let's just do a small triangle in between all these rocks on the road, like boom, boom, boom. Let's see if this makes any sense. I think this entire part here of the road is a bit too close. I'm still aiming for something like around here. So we should uh, still are trying to take, uh, hold it through to that 400 meter rule. It's a bit less than 400 meters, but eyeing it, it should have been pretty decent. Like that is a pretty decent triangle. I have had a couple of earlier tries again to see in different points. And yep, we're perfect. We're perpendicular to the mole, to the dock. So let's see. So it was perpendicular to the dock. It's a bit early. I probably would want to go a bit bit closer. I would have to mantle to get there, but I'm perfect drop for this. Okay, so right now we're coming from a bit of a different angle. We saw that the dock didn't work, so now we're going extremely close to it. Uh, I don't expect anything uh, too much out of it. Probably it would be better even if we go something along here. So I'm just gonna go here. Uh, can we remember? Uh, I'd say perpendicular from this weird rock here. Let's try to close the gaps gradually. And now you can see it's basically a perfect drop for you up here. It's a bit too high, which means that next time we will go probably uh, a bit closer. But again, we are uh, way, 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 way closer than this guy is. And therefore we were able to tag him already. Now, another very common misconception is that the more markers you have, the better. But that is wrong. For example, with my drop, I have about 10 markers, but actively use 4. Whilst doing the map, you can do as many markers as you want, but once you have it, you always want to aim for the closest. That is because when you will open your glider, you will be closer than anyone else that wants to outdrop you. I have run multiple tests during tournaments with my duo, and I always would win with this closest drop, especially when paired with a concept that we will discuss in a second. Okay, so we already have a couple of points, starting using simply the circle tool. Now, what we're looking at here for this spot especially is a lot of terrain. I don't really like mountains, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get something along with this road, for example. If then there is something along the shoreline, still, if I can find something probably here or along the shoreline. If it's possible to find something in front of the mountain, otherwise probably everything's gonna be behind the mountain. This cliff is also pretty memorable, but still kinda hard to it. And everything before that is probably gonna be, uh, yeah, you know, too late. On this side, if I can get something on the road, it's probably gonna be better as well. But also the field is probably gonna be a very good starting point. Here, a similar thing applies. I got this because of the circle, don't judge me, it's not a very pretty circle, but 
the idea is there. I don't want to go too far behind this mountain because I don't. If I can get something along the rivers as well, rivers are usually the closest ones because they have the minimum elevation. And lastly here, uh, I probably will look again a bit, a couple of points, like two points here. Probably something could be here, could be here, here, and then one last one from this side. And this should be everything. Now there are some things to consider. When flying towards your drop, try to avoid opening your glider as you will lose momentum and land later. On the same note, don't look around too much once you opened it as you will lose momentum. The way I do it in duos is that once we figure out who has the better drop, the other one scouts. In solos, I rely on visual audio. Anyway, after about an hour of playing pubs and quitting, these are the three drop maps that I managed to make. I decided to make a fourth one just to measure how long that would take and it was about 20 minutes. Another option is going in the most recent FNCS, Solo Victory Cup, Divisional Cup, whatever you most prefer. Look at what pros are landing at your drop spot and copy their drop map. Simply look at where they're opening their glider and mark those places on your map. Now the secret chemical X that will make you a drop master is the timing with which you exit the bus. You want to exit a bit earlier than the perpendicular from the bus towards your drop. In human, if the blue line is the bus and the blue marker is your perfect drop, the red line is the perpendicular aka the one that forms a 90 degree angle and you want to be doing the green line. This is because you will be a bit faster than the perpendicular bro. If you don't want to go through the hassle of making a drop map, you can always buy one or join a free drop map discord. Every discord has their own rules about how you get them, but I had some friends that did drop maps and would sell them, and what they would do is they would just resell these free drop maps. In some cases, the server even have paid drop maps and give them away for free. If I manage to get some of these discords, I will leave them in the description. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, I think that you will enjoy this one as well. Leave a like or comment if you feel like it and I hope to see you again very very soon.